it's Vipasha here again and today I'm going to show you um, how to bring color to our plants and by doing that learn a little bit more about plant biology. So for this experiment we need um, two clear glasses. You can choose plastic or glass whatever you have. We need food coloring, we need water, and we need lettuce um, or cabbage or like flowers that are lightly colored that have light colored petals so white or yellow flowers work well as well. I have some romaine lettuce as well as just some normal fresh leaf lettuce. Um, I'm interested to see how well it will work with this lettuce. I know for a fact that this experiment works really well with the romaine. Still yet to see how it works with this lettuce. Um, another thing is this experiment does take overnight or maybe a couple of days to completely finish. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the first step and then we're going to wait and come back and see what our leaves look like. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water and I'm going to pour it into my glasses here. There's no correct amount, just eyeball it. Make sure you have some paper towels, as you can see, to prevent spills. Then I'm going to take two food colorings of my choice. I'm going to go with blue for here and add about 10 drops of food coloring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is to make sure that the water is nice and rich in color. As you can see, we have a beautiful blue solution. I'm going to do the same with the red. I'm going to add maybe 10 to 12 drops because it is a larger glass and there is more water. I think that was around 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14. Should be enough. And now we have a nice red looking liquid. So I'm going to take my leaves and I'm just going to simply, it's not very complicated, just place them into the water. Ideally, you want leaves that are slightly larger. So leaves of this size or larger work really well. Um, and um, having cabbage leaves, like Napa cabbage or anything like that also works really well. So just don't be shy. Put in as many leaves as you can. Well, preferably not too many because you don't want leaves to compete with each other. So actually I might just get rid of the smaller leaf here because the larger leaves will have a nicer effect. And then I'm gonna do the same with my fresh leaf lettuce. Oh, this tore a bit. And don't use this <laughs> once it's been dipped in the food coloring. I know it's food safe, but I don't think we want blue lettuce in our salad. I'm just going to place the lettuce here. This is quite a large leaf, so hopefully it works really nicely. And here we are. That's the first step of our experiment. I'm sure a lot of you, or a few of you, might know what we're going for here. Maybe you've seen the classic color white flowers experiment where you place white flowers into some dyed water and they become colored. That's exactly what we're going for here. As you can see, nothing really has changed, and that's because it'll take time for the experiment to take place. I'm not going to reveal what's happening till the very end, till we can see the result. So just keep patience and I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next day and now we're going to check on our lettuce leaves. Here we have our fresh leaf lettuce in the red food colored water. And here we have our romaine lettuce in the blue food colored water. So as suspected, the fresh leaf lettuce did not give us the desired effect. The tops of the leaves started wilting, um, but you can see there was some coloration at the part that was sunk into the water because the food coloring got on top of the leaves 
um, and there was some of the desired action over here. And I'll explain to you what we were looking for shortly. But the romaine lettuce seemed to do really well. So as you can see here, we have our pieces of romaine lettuce that we added. This leaf didn't color as expected, possibly because the leaf was kind of torn from the middle. So you can see here that this leaf became colored. And if we'd colored the water a bit darker, if we'd added more dye, probably the leaf would have become even more bluer. So you can see the difference between this leaf, which is the original leaf, no green color, no, no blue color, and the blue colored leaf. I also added, in the middle of the night, I added another, the smaller leaf that we originally had thrown out, just to see if we could get that effect again. Um, but I don't think it had enough time. So, this experiment was based on the capillary action of the xylem vessels in plants. So the way that plants take up water is through these vessels called xylem. Um, and when I place this leaf in the colored food colored water, the leaf uptakes that water just as it normally would do. And the same effect would have been observed in these other leaves if we'd left them longer possibly, if the leaves were completely intact. I might try and leave these ones a little longer to see if any changes happen, but there may be the most probable reason that I see that these, that these leaves did not get colored is because their base was quite wide. So there wasn't enough, um, there wasn't enough force um, because of the width for the, um, the water to get sucked up. But in these smaller leaves, the base is much narrower, so it could easily get sucked up. Maybe if you want, you can try with different widths of the lettuce leaf bases um, and see what that does to the effect. So through this experiment, we saw that because of the xylem vessel present in plants that are responsible for uptaking water, we can color leaves with various food color dyes. Um, you can repeat this experiment, as previously said, with white or yellow flowers or with any other kinds of leaves, such as cabbage. And you can even continue to try with fresh leaf lettuce, possibly by cutting the base of the leaf a little narrower and leaving the leaves in the water for a, a longer period. Lastly, to, in, to allow an even a brighter color within the leaf, maybe add more dye to the water as well as place a single leaf within the, the glass of water so that there's no competition between the leaves. So I hope you guys had fun um, observing your leaves overnight and learned a little bit more about plant biology. I'll make sure to update you next time if I was able to make any, if I was able to observe any of the desired um, effect with the fresh leaf lettuce.